hey guys so let's start by installing postgres so if you come here in the postgresql.org site um, this is download button over here and you can choose which operating system you want so i'll be i'm currently using ubuntu so if you're using mac os or windows you can click over here and in ubuntu what you have to do is um, i'm using the bionic version so you need to create this file the pg.list file onto this directory so let's copy this um, file name and path over and let's open my terminal and let's um, let's touch uh, let's use the command called touch and paste in the path file and I've already done this before and after that you need to copy this repository name over and let's you uh, let's um, let's vim to this file that we have created so we'll vim to it by saying sudo vim and the file path over here and copy paste this over, over here i need to give my password so after vimming inside let's copy this repository name and I have already pasted this over so to paste I mean to insert something in Vim you have to first go to insert mode so you can do that by saying I pressing I will be in insert mode and now you can do control V to paste uh, the repository name and after that you can go back to escape default mode by pressing escape and after that to save and quit out you need to press colon that is shift semicolon and after that WQ for saving and quitting out and after that you need to paste this over in your terminal just copy and paste it over in your terminal and after doing all that uh, let's install Postgres I mean after pasting it you need to run it I've already done this before that's why I'm not running it and after doing all that you can install sudo apt install uh, postgresql postgresql 11 because uh, uh, 11 is the most stable version right now after 10 11 has released now the latest, latest version is um, it's, I guess it's 11.4 the most stable version yeah the 12 beta has been released recently 11 is much better I guess because it's the latest version and most stable version so I'll be quitting out from that as well because I've already installed Postgres in my machine so after that creating installing Postgres let's create a database so you can do that by saying create DB so after installing Postgres you'll get this command called create DB and you can specify your um, database name so we are creating a voting app let's call it voting app and I have already created the database voting app so you can execute this I will be quitting out from that as well and after installing Postgres let's go back to our no, um, nest.js docs and let's um, under here in techniques database let's install type worm for talking to our postgresql and you can do that by saying um, at nestia slash type worm and type worm and we won't be needing mysql because we'll be using postgres so let's install this library and let's it's you need to change your directory to server by saying cd server I'm, I'm already in the server directory and let's add those libraries by saying yarn add copy pasting it after that you also need to add in pg for postgresql driver it's a driver library for postgresql and you can press enter and after installing this library um, in your app.module file you need to specify your type ORM configuration so let's copy this over
so in your uh, app.module file so let's create type warm module dot um, for root let's copy this so I've already copied this over um, so our app.module is actually getting big rather than um, specifying our configuration over here let's cut it out from here and let's create a new new folder under source course let's call it config a folder name and let's call um, we'll be creating type orm config file so type orm config.ts export this so it's an object so let's create an object and paste this over so the type over here is actually postgres because we are using postgres post is localhost and the default post port for postgres is 5432 and the username is postgres and the password is postgres and the database is um, voting app and we'll get um, okay so let's change synchronize okay synchronize too so after that um, let's import that type forum config over so we'll see type forum config it should be um, so there seems to be a type error issue let's go back to our type forum I mean nestes docs over here if you come back here in AC configuration you can see uh, they give us a type or a module option interface so let's go back to our config file and let's annotate it by saying type or module options so now our typer has gone um, so let's and also after doing this we need to um, if you take a look in the type or Docs here they actually create uh, database through entities, I mean tables and things like that. So they mainly focus on entity methods. So to create an entity, we have to do like this. Let's copy this entity over user entity. Um, so let's create an user entity under our user module folder. So let's say that by saying user dot entity.ts let's paste that in um, so our in our user entity um, we don't really need first name let's change it to username and let's change this to email and we create another column called password seems to be a type issue let's restart our type skill server yes our type issue might go away by restarting a type skill server okay it seems to go away right now so after creating our entity specifying the column names so these are the column names in our entity we can um, we need to specify the entity directory name so currently our entity is situated uh, not right after the root folder so this is our directory name so we need to specify um, it's a folder up actually so let's say dot 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 here so dot 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 means it will go a folder up and search for all the entities file over here save that and let's start our server now so currently I'm facing an issue of authentication 
so this is because I've actually changed my username and password for Postgres so if you are uh, basically installing Postgres from here you, you won't really be changing your username and password I've already changed it before uh, later on so my username is this and my password is I'll change it to this and let's save this and restart our server again okay so now it has found zero error and our server has been started let's go to let's create a new terminal over here by press, pressing this plus button let's take a look in our PostgreSQL database so PSQL voting app and let's see um, let's select and see what's in our user database so our um, entity name was user so select star from user this seems to be the issue because Postgres actually hides all the user table table name and things or the column specified in user so to overcome this what I've done is I've actually changed my entity name to users and over here in my type or I'm config I'll be dropping my schema so if you drop your schema this user um, table will get deleted from there so it'll, it'll create a new fresh database so let's restart our it's already restarted for us so when I save this file type form config the server gets restarted automatically so let's go back to PSQL PSQL voting app. So let's take a look in our table. Let's take a look all the table names in our voting app. Um, so these are the so this is the table name we have users. So let's take a look that um, what are the columns we have in the table name. So you can do that by saying select star from users. So now you can see uh, all the columns name in our table name user. And and also, if you take go back in the type forum, I mean the SDS docs over here, they're actually following a repository pattern. I guess um, a repository pattern is better because we can abstract functions away. For example, we can actually um, create our own functions and abstract it away, so we can use it across other services as well so we can do that by creating um, a new folder I mean a new file under our user folder user module we'll call it user dot repository dot ts if you come back here you can see you can create the repository by using this let's copy it over so our repository name is user entity repository is user and we'll call this user repository let's import this repository I'm importing it by pressing control space it's importing from type ORM and let's change this author to user save this over we will also input this entity repository okay so after that we need to specify in our inputs by saying the repository name so if you come back here in our user module let's import it so we'll be importing type or module dot four features and our repository name is user repository and there is a comma missing here
think that is it um, setting up a repository so let's check if our server has been restarted yes so everything is going great so that is it guys thank you for watching